return of the sweet potato. We don't use the Y word here. Don't fucking say it. So today I will be using this sweet potato, but I'm not making fries. Now what I'm making here today is a black bean and sweet potato burger. And I'm gonna put avocado on it, it's gonna be great. Make burgers great again! Now I'm not gonna wave this around while I talk. I need to set this down. Now I'm not really gonna be following a recipe exactly, but there are two recipes that I'm kind of taking inspiration from, so I'll link those down below. But for the most part, I'm just gonna kind of be doing my own chaotic thing, which if you've been watching for the last two weeks, you, you know just what to expect. It will be madness, but the result will be delicious. Hopefully, please, God, I hope it's delicious. Anyways, let's move into the kitchen. Step one, overhead camera. You know how we do. Next, you turn on oven to 400 degrees because we need to bake that sweet potato. Then, gather your equipment. Cutting board, knife. Sweet potato. Baking sheet with some tin foil on it and olive oil. I feel so prepared. This is such a difference from the last time I attempted to cut a sweet potato. Should I peel it? I washed it, but it still looks gross. I'm gonna peel. Uh, no, okay, I'm just gonna cut it. I'm just gonna cut it, but I'm also gonna cut off that little nibby part because it looks weird. Cut the sweet potato in half. Oh, I'm still not good at cutting sweet potatoes. I'm like slowly moving out of frame. It's fine. Look at that. Look how totally fine that is. I should have used a bigger cutting board and possibly a bigger knife, but like it's fine. Here, let's put these on here because I don't want it on my cutting board. So, a little bit of olive oil. And then we're gonna rub it and put it face down on the baking sheet. Rub that olive oil in, just give it a little massage. Maybe a little bit of this action. Okay, potato in the oven for... 30 minutes or so until it's soft. I'm going to put 30 minutes on the clock. The next ingredient I need is rice. bag of rice? I can't eat that bag. It's practically my co-host. We're gonna eat this bag of rice. Not the whole bag right now, but like eventually. I love rice. Rice is life. So the recipe only calls for one cup of cooked rice, but I'm gonna make a bunch of rice because I'll eat rice leftovers tomorrow, it'll be great. So I'm gonna wash my rice and then cook my rice for about 20 minutes, and the sweet potato still needs to cook for about 20 minutes, and I don't feel like entertaining you guys for about 20 minutes, so I'll just see you in about 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. All right, let's see what we're working with. Okay, okay. It's soft, which is perfect. That's what we wanted. What does it look like? Okay, oh my god, that looks great! I'm just constantly surprised that I keep producing edible food in this kitchen with these methods. But, I mean, that, that looks great. That, great, 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 great. Ha! Ah, that was dumb, but everything's fine. So now comes the part with the black beans. I'm going to drain these and rinse them and put them in this glass bowl and mash them up and then add the potato and the rice and some other stuff 
and hopefully it will make something that's kind of like a patty burger food eat. I'm hungry. I hope this works. Where is my can opener? Tell me I have a can opener. I don't have a can opener. I have a bottle opener for the alcohol, which I will be needing since I'm going to end up drinking my lunch if I can't open it. I don't own a can opener. <sighs> Honestly, I'm not even that surprised. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> How to open a can without a can opener. Oh, great. This sounds like a surefire way to lose a finger. Okay, so Google told me how to open this can without a can opener. It's real dumb, but I'm gonna do it. Can't wait to see all the newspaper articles about me. She used to have fingers. I'll miss you guys. Why? Why? Y'all might as well start preparing your comments about how stupid I am now, because this is what I'm doing. How important are the beans? in this black bean burger, do you think? Do I really need them? Everything's totally fine. This is how I wanted to open the can. This is what I'm doing. It's sort of working. You guys are no longer allowed to complain about my knife skills when I'm cutting vegetables, because this is by far way dumber. Can I squeeze the beans out of there? I think I can. I think I can. Get it? It's a can. Shut up. I have a goddamn mesh strainer, but I don't have a can opener. Well, that was fun. Black beans drained and rinsed. If you guys watched my car vlog the other day, then you know that I went to Walmart for some kitchen supplies. If I had known I didn't own a can opener, I would have gotten one along with all the other ridiculous shit I got. Like, these beans I could mash with a fork, but I bought this masher! I own a masher, but not a can opener! The fuck? Anyways, I'm going to mash up the beans. Not completely, just kind of mashity mash mash. These are mashed enough for me to add the next ingredient, which is going to be the sweet potato. Peel removed. I'll just plop that in there. And mash it! I like the masher. Mashing is fun. Except not when it does this. Come on, mix better. Okay, whatever. We'll add the other one. Great! Mash it up. Maybe the fork would have been better. This stupid fucking masher. I buy tools I don't need, and I need tools I don't buy. Why? You know what will improve this episode? The griddle. Griddle. What other seasonings? I should grab those before I start putting my hands in here. Got my things. Let's add one cup of rice. The rice is still very hot. Let me spread it out a little bit so it cools. Fuck this masher. Fuck it all the way back to where it came from. Also, fuck the can of beans. Just because. Yeah, the fork is so much easier to work with. Hi. Oh, you know what? I wanted onions. Okay, hold that thought. Removing the skin first. I'm learning. My cutting skills look downright safe next to what I did earlier. I wanna cut that into tiny little onion pieces. Okay. Let's put them in. That is a lot of onion. Good thing I really like onion. I think I'm gonna fry up two on the griddle and bake the rest in the oven because I've, I've seen it both ways. I knocked over the microphone. I'm so sorry, are you okay? ASMR, I'm going to chop up. Nothing, I've, I'm not gonna chop up anything. We're past the chopping point. This is vegan, right? Um, so I'm just gonna put in like that much breadcrumbs. Seems fine. Nutritional yeast. 
that much. Garlic powder. Too much, but it's fine. And steakhouse seasoning. Okay, I wanna mix this up a little bit before I add the sriracha in. I guess like that much. I mean, it's forming into like something I feel I can mold into patties, which is the point of life. Oh, this is okay. This is gonna make beautiful patties. Fuck yeah, I'm so excited now. <laughs> you better be worth the trouble. Are you worth the trouble? It holds up really nicely. This is holding together so well. Like, I'm honestly surprised. So many burger recipes call for egg to make it, like, stick together. But this is sticking together so nicely. Bow to me in my geniosity. That's probably not a word. Okay, we're done with the overhead camera. Good work, rice camera. Go team! Ha! Huh! Fuck, my battery's dying. Not good work, battery. Bad work. Be a team player. Motherfucker. I just ran upstairs because I had to get another battery. But I changed your battery. Are you good? Are you good? Is everything good? Is everything fine? Everything good? <sighs> Let's do a little spray spray. Use a spatula because I'm a professional. Excuse me. Thank you. This one looks like a nicely shaped one. We're going to do that. <sighs> Maybe I'll griddle all of them. No, I don't want to wait to griddle each one individually. You guys are great. Great. You guys want to get baked? A griddle cam. Does that look good? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Let's toast the bagel. I have bagels as my bun because that's the bread type that I purchased for this week. How are you guys looking? Don't use the fork on the griddle. Don't do it. Okay, good, this is looking great. We're doing great. Good work, team, huh? So with my burger, I got avocado, of course, and some lettuce. Let's let's prepare the fixins. Oh, should I flip the other one here? Should I be using like more oil? Plate. Ah, oh, my griddle cam battery is dying. Here, let's just really quickly look at the ones inside the oven then. Just, that's what those look like. They look fine. I'll flip them in like a couple minutes. Hey, I guess griddle cam has to say goodbye now because your battery's dying and I don't have a replacement for you. So good work, griddle cam. Solid job today. Go team. But mostly go cat because she slayed today. Toaster agrees. <laughs> Thanks, toaster. I appreciate the kind words. I'll just make a little, little bit of lettuce, some white lettuce. Still looking good. Still looking good over here. Let's cut open the avocado. Some of you guys have been impressed with how beautiful my avocados have been looking, but you don't even know how long I stand in the avocado section, literally touching and inspecting every single avocado. I like to choose avocados that are nowhere near being ripe so that they can ripen at home under my watchful eye. Because otherwise they get squishy and bruised. As soon as they start getting soft, people manhandle them and they get all bruised. But if they ripen at home under my watchful eye, they turn out beautiful. It's beautiful. These burgers are maintaining their integrity. They're honorable burgers, but I think they're done cooking. So I'm just going to move them off the heat, put them to the side right there. How are oven burgers? Oven burgers looking good. I'll flip them in a moment. A half of an avocado on my burger to get like a nice, a nice layer of avocado on here. Look at this. Look at this. I have to refocus you so you can look at this. Look at this burger. Look at it. Look at it. This is a beautiful fucking veggie burger. Oh, I'm out of focus. Okay, it doesn't matter. I want to be out of focus because I want to show you this again close up. I like a professional cook now. Look, look, look. That sweet potato, rice, black bean veggie burger, the avocado, some lettuce. If I was feeling feisty, I could throw some of that chow tomato cayenne or the bacon on there and make it like 
super bomb. Sweet Jesus, this is beautiful. Okay. Are you ready to taste the burger? I'm so excited. I really hope it's good. If it tastes delicious, I'm going to be so happy. Even if, if it just tastes all right, I'll be happy. But like, even happier if it's delicious. I don't want my precious avocado to fall out. Okay. 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 Hopefully it'll be tasty. It's so good! <laughs> it's really, really good. What would I do less of? What would I change? I really wouldn't change that much. It's really good. It is, as I bite into it and like squeeze it, it does flatten out more. It's really good. You know, actually, I think that I would bake the sweet potatoes for a little bit less time, just so they're a bit firmer in the burger, because this is, they're, they're pretty mashed in the burger. That's all I would change. Bake the sweet potatoes for a little bit less time. Maybe try frying them in more oil so they do get, like, more crispy throughout. That could be a something to do, too. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat the rest of this. Uh, not like all of them today, but I will eat all of them because they are delicious. But for, for now, I'm just gonna eat like this, this one and, and probably this one. And I might try an oven one later tonight. <laughs> I don't know, who knows? But that is it for this video. I will have another one up soon. Bye!